Hey people, welcome to another Star Citizen video. If it's your first time here on the channel, I do appreciate a subscription, especially if you got something out of the video. And yeah, thumbs up, share, all of that good stuff. If you're considering playing Star Citizen, you can use my referral code. You have it there below. I would appreciate that as well. If not, use someone else's, especially if you have a friend already playing. That's going to be much appreciated by uh, your pal as well. I want to talk about some of the, well, some of the better options in terms of making money, which is, as you see, popping right now, the beacon missions. You can do low and moderate ones easily with your Aurora starter ship. Even your Pisces, you don't need a lot more than that just to do low and moderate missions. For the high ones, you probably want to have either a Connie, uh, 600i, C2, anything that has these guns that you see, those size 5 laser cannons. This is, of course, the Corsair. I have it set up with four size 5 laser cannons and the other size, uh, two size 4 weapons, I have AD... B4s, which are ballistic uh, Gatlings, and those do a lot of damage while um, you know giving me a couple extra shots in those cannons. So I have the mission already activated. Remember to always activate Call to Arms, and we'll go about this and see how we do. Let me show you. There it is. You can activate it either here in general or uh, left bracket will also let you engage that. Remember to have call to arms. You see that those ones moderate? 34k. That is a lot of money for a rather easy mission to do. Now the high ones may include, uh, uh, well most likely will include uh, um, a, a hammerhead, right? Those are not uh, as easy, but you have some Especially the lower pain ones, sometimes you do get lucky and you don't get a hammerhead. You get one of the, maybe a Connie or a, a couple of Valkyries or something like that. Uh, but you have to go ready expecting that freaking, <laughs> that freaking hammerhead makes things a little bit difficult. Size 5 laser cannons do help quite a bit. It doesn't do as much damage, as, as, much damage a, as it used to, but you know, still gets the job done. Especially when you have four of those and you have the backup of those uh, ballistic Gatlings. Uh, I try not to use those as much, even though if it's worth it, I will. It's not expensive. It's not as if you're throwing torpedoes uh, like a torp tart, <laughs> which is the definition of someone that instead of doing combat, throws torpedoes at things. Uh, it's like 200 bucks to restock your ballistics. Yeah, pretty cheap. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So we have a Valkyrie there, as expected, another one. Right about there. Let me see what I have here on the other side. Pro okay, easy enough. Andromeda. So I, I usually take the heavier ship first. So it's going to be the Andromeda that I'm gunning for first, which is the one that does the most damage. I try to let them come to me, especially when they're getting closer to that 3K range. There is where you start opening up. The closer you are, the more damage you will do, but you want to start dropping that shield as fast as you can. I can take a little bit of damage, not a whole lot, here in the good old Corsair, so I start maneuvering away from them. Right now, this is not the best ideal position because I could do even more damage right there about in the back, but I already dropped the, sh the shields up front, so I'm not shooting just randomly, I'm picking my shots because as I maneuver, I'm not as easily, and yeah, the Corsair, man, is it hits hard, but it drives like a freaking brick. So it's not as, as convenient as some of the other ships that you have. The Corsair definitely maneuvers better. But I did reload nicely, so I'll, I'll take a few shots there. Again, can take a lot of, of damage, but yeah, does take a bit. Sometimes you get lucky, you drop them right away, sometimes you need a couple more shots like I did there. Sometimes you can just drop them on the first run. It's not always the case, it used to be easier, but not hard either. So now it's just a matter of picking out the rest. And with the size 5 cannons, they, they just have no chance whatsoever. Now you could use an Eclipse, an Eclipse will have 3 torpedoes. But you're wasting money on something that's not paying as much. You know, these are not... These are some of the lowest paying 
a high beacon mission. So, I mean, you could even do this with a Titan if you're a little bit lucky. The thing now is that um, the, the ships are likely to kill some of the ones you're supposed to protect, so that is kind of like a, a potential no-no. One of the nice things about 318 is that now you can do this thing of looting the, um, the, the ship that you just blew up. For example, the one I just blew up now, if I get close enough... What is it that they're shooting at? Okay, <laughs> shooting at the wreck. So, for example, this one, I can just blow it up. And if I get close, you will see that with L, I turn the lights on on the ship so as to see better. And you will see some of these hostiles as the ship breaks apart, right? ship is kind of still holding some integrity. And there you go. You see that guy there, right? So you can just get out of your ship, okay? You leave your ship. And you get yourself a decent set of armor. I'll actually do that now so to show you how that's done. I think this is one of the coolest things. I mean, it, it's you know, typical CIG getting us used to appreciating nothing. Because this is, I mean, hardly much of a feature. But it is one of those nice things that I like. Um, it, it's cool. It's more immersive, more realistic to be able to leave your ship, I mean, the guy is dead, you just kill him, so why shouldn't you be able to do that, right? Uh, you leave your, your ship, you do a little bit of spacewalking, and, and you get yourself um, a set of armor and maybe a gun, depending on what the bad guy is using. For example, I'm now using this crappy old suit that is not much to look at, doesn't offer much protection, and I just, with a little bit of spacewalking, if it doesn't bug out like it sometimes does, if you have a tractor beam, you can just you know pull it back towards you. But if not, you just get yourself close. And if this thing is working, right, loot, all I have to do is... Yeah. I mean, I've done this like with nothing. Getting very close, even if you're naked, if you just get very close to the door, you can just grab the thing... And, and throw it on top of you, and it works as well. So, grabbing the helmet, which uh, I think it's a little bit nicer than what I have. That's it. Got myself a new set of armor and a gun that I didn't have before, without paying a single buck, and it has that extra, you know... I mean, you could go grab, maybe there's a couple more bad guys floating around there, if, if you have the time and you have... You know, if, if you want to go get that. But as you see, I have already a couple that I already placed about there. Getting that helmet there. And a new AR that's saving me like 3k if I had to buy. Sometimes they do have a gun. If not, a little bit of ammo. Also appreciated. Also welcome. Guys, that is basically it. couple things for you to keep in mind. That's all for now. See you on our next video. Take care.